Hey guys, what's up? Murder here. And I apologize for the state that I'm in right now. <laughs> From the news that I found out earlier this week and yesterday regarding a very big inspiration of mine. <sighs> for those of you who don't know, Montium, creator of Ruby, a series that I've grown in love with since the moment I saw it in his previous works, as well as being a big influence behind Red vs. Blue for Rooster Teeth, <sighs> passed away yesterday or the day before. <sighs> And this has come to the point where I have to just do my video like this because I've tried so many times to do this. I tried doing this yesterday even, but I couldn't just because I was so broken by it. The man was a magnificent person, someone who I looked up to so much and had so much more years ahead of him. And it's just really upsetting and frustrating and difficult for me to accept because I just knew that he was just a completely different person from other animators and he was a visionary and he had the fervor and passion for creativity and imagination for the works that he did like Hey Lloyd and Dead Fantasy that I grew up watching as a kid and even now with Ruby, as you guys already know on my channel, I support it wholeheartedly with the merchandise, with the figures, I do unboxings, I review the anime and everything. And he's given me so much to where I, I, it's just a shame that I'll never get to meet him, even though I've known him through his tweets, through his interviews, through his live streams on, on, on the Rooster Teeth community. And his inspirational quotes that he just leaves and the things that he just leaves in people's minds and to always think about moving forward and never giving up and always enduring and that you're greater, you're destined for greater and you'll always be greater the, ne the next day than you were the day before. And it's, it, it still shell shocks me to this day and I still, in a sense, can't really grasp or comprehend it because it it's just not fair, you know? Um, he's he's changed me in so many ways like I can't even begin to I can't even begin to express I can't even begin to express it but <sighs> one thing that I've that I have known from Monty is that he was an extraordinary person and in his time of need the Rooster Teeth community and others around the world came together and wasn't a community they were a family and that's one thing that i have to wholeheartedly thank monty for because he is the first and foremost primary reason of how i got into the rooster teeth community you know in the past i i, I knew for, i knew about them from uh, achievement hunter and i wasn't really that into red versus blue at first and then i learned about his works the first one that i ever watched was dead fantasy my friend aaron showed me it and, you know, he liked fighting games, and we both liked JRPGs, and we both watched it, and I was just like, yo, this is this is incredible, this is phenomenal, and I showed as many people as I could about it, and the name Montium always stuck in my head from that day forward, and then Haloid came out, you know, I wasn't really that big into Halo until I actually got it for myself and was like, holy shit, this is intense, uh, Metroid was another great series, and boom, it was just a mash of these two different universes that he just took one thing from one, took another, and just made something that was his own, and it was phenomenal. And then he ended up working at Rooster Teeth, and at the end of the day, created something, his own brainchild, Ruby, which I love to death because it has that spark. It gives me that spark of creativity and imagination that, I won't lie, that I lost over the years. Um, a lot of people will say, Arnold, why do you love Ruby so much, or why do you, you know, what's so special about Ruby to you? And it, it's hard to form into words. It really is. Um, I think everyone has something like this that they can relate to. But I honestly tell people <clears throat> that Ruby is home to me. It's it's the best way I can. It's the best way I can describe. It, it's the best way I can put it. Um, I support it wholeheartedly because I believe in its creativity and I believe that it, it it is destined for something much greater. And when you just look at the series as a whole, you know you have. Um, you know, it just got approved for Netflix, it's on Crunchyroll, uh, it's getting a dub in Japan by Warner Brothers, and, you know, this all stems back to Monty giving me that, that drive, that, that, that passion to 
just love something that I've I never thought that I would. And uh it is a shame to see to see him, you know, his time be cut so short. And uh one thing that I can do for Monty is honor him in my memory and keep moving forward with everything. I will mourn, I will grieve, I will remember him for the man that he is and the things that he's left behind and his legacy and I'll always support and I will always cherish that. Because of Monty, I've been able to make friends based off of the fact that, you know, we have a common interest in Ruby. I have Monty to thank for getting me into the Rooster Teeth community, for being able to now know people in the community besides just watching Ruby. I know Bernie, I know Gus, I know Barbara, I know the voice actors and actresses of Ruby, I know the achievement hunters. And it all stems back again, like I said, to Monty. And um I just really I'm just really heartbroken by this loss and I just wish that things were different I just wish that you know we had the ability to really have control over our destinies and rewind time and change things that like this that um that just touched the lives of millions but um I just want to give my condolences to the Rooster Teeth community his friends his family his wife Sheena um his fans around the world and it's just really bad that we had to lose someone so talented who had so much more going for them. And I want you to know, Monty, that I'll never forget you. And I'll always cherish and appreciate your legacy for what it is. And I hope that you rest in peace. Um... And that's pretty much it. And I just want to thank everyone who came to his aid and supported him for his fundraiser and everything else. Um, the Rooster Teeth community is definitely not just a community in itself. They're a family. And I'm glad that Monty has introduced me to these great people who I can now call family whenever we have a time that we have to come together like this. But thank you, Monty, for everything. I will, we love you, and you will be greatly missed. Thank you.